Good afternoon friends, so my name is Navin Kumar, I am a faculty of classic KS I study circle Darwar. So today we are discussing about the CSAT paper, right, that is civil service aptitude test of 2019 paper here. Friends on 10th October there is an examination of uh, civil service that is UPSC. So those who are writing uh, this examination, okay, this paper will be helpful for the revision for 2 or the paper 2 that is one. So in this CSAT paper, this is an eligibility paper right, to qualifying the first paper. So, let me see here what are the criteria of this paper. So, number of 80 questions, there are 80 questions are there, then marks is 200 marks. Then per question carries 2.5 marks friends. Then if it the wrong answer means if you marked the wrong answer, then the penalty of the marks is one third. There are the three sections, the reasoning, quants and English. Then every section there is a some particular some questions, right? That is one third, one third and one third questions. So, let me see in the paper of 2019 okay so we are going to discuss the reasoning part and the cons part the how to solve and how to we get the marks of in this qualifying marks of this csat paper right the eligibility criteria of the csat is a 33% means that is an 66 marks right friends so first before writing the examination you should follow the one strategy you have to make the mindset of the one strategy there are three sections are there uh, we are attending the three sections we have to get the passing marks first thing so that is passing marks is the 33 percent 66 marks if you qualify 66 percent means means 66 marks means uh, so you are eligible for the paper one means eligible means if you pass this paper then it is going to check the first paper okay friends so let me see the question here, how the question will become in your examination, those who are writing the first time, it's okay. it will be helpful how the question will be appear and the toughness of the questions, right. Let me see the first question friends here. The number of times the digit 5 will appear while writing the integers from 1 to 1000. Friends from 1 to 1000 means, uh, let me see here, from 1 to 1000, how many times the 5 will be repeated. Okay. So, the question is like that, there are the options here given 269, 271, 300, then 302. Let me see here, how to solve this type of questions here. Okay. In the part, the continuity part of this one, the frequency of occurrence of the digit 5 in the different series of numbers are as follows. For example, here from 1 to 10, this is one time, 1 5 is there. Right. So, from 11 to 20, again one time, 21 to 30, same one time here, so same 31 to 40, then 41 to 50, it will come that 2 times, that is 45, 1 5 will come, then again last one the 50, then 51 to 60, that is 10 times, same as, as it is as follows here, 91 to 100. So, total times of 5 repeated in from 1 session from 1 to 100, that is 20. Okay. So, 20 means in from 1 to 1000 means that is 20 into 10. So, that is a 200 times. But friends, on the occurrence of a 100th place of 500 to 600. Okay. So, there are from 500 to 600, there is a 100 times again 5 will be repeats. So, 200 plus then 100 that is a 300 times the 5 will be repeated okay the 5 digit means so let me see the option here the answer is 300 c the option number is c that is 300 right friends okay we'll move for the next question now okay consider the following statement and the conclusions okay the statements and conclusions you all know that the how to solve this uh, type of questions we already discussed in the class right friends so let me see here first we'll go to the statements before that i'll tell some of the basic things how to solve the syllogisms or syllox we call it as short forms or also called as venn diagrams right so when they ask the in the statements some some there is a noise there if they ask all some no so you get to know that if they ask all means we have to draw like this all a r b okay this is a particular way of drawing the diagram of venn diagrams then if they ask sum for example so this is a sum diagram this is a sum part if there is a say no then particularly it's a no relation of between these two on the hilltop right from a and b am i right friends so here it is we'll solve the problem here 
some rats are cats let me see here some rats are cats then second point is some cats are dogs some cats are dogs no dog is a cow no dog is a cow right here it is first but some possibilities are there here possibility will come how it is some rats are cats some cats are dogs no dog is a cow cow go matte dog go relation illa anta helta idar friends hagan mele illi nodko dri cow na amel na discuss madana anta first nodri dog cat ig matra relation ide rat ig kuda agbahudu that is called a possibility here so we'll take possibility rat cat eradu ko relation irtakantadu ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯಾಕಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಆಗಬಹುದು ಊಹೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪ್ರಮಾಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಸೊ ಡಾಗ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ನೋ ಕೌ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಾಗ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ದ ಕೌ ಮೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಕೌ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಚೆಕ್ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಾಂಗ್ ವಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಸೊ ರೈಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದಾ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಎರಡು ಕಡೆ ರೈಟ್ ಬಂದರೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವು ರೈಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಚೆಕ್ ಯರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ನೋ ಕೌ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ನೋ ಕೌ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೌಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೌಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ಯರ್ no dog is a rat no dog is a rat that is right here here some dogs are rats that is wrong then last conclusion some cats are rats some cats are rats that is right here is also some cats are rats so option number 3 is a right one okay so your answer is c only 3 is a right answer friends okay fine we'll move for the next question now right friends so here it is when a runner was crossing the 12 km mark she ha- she was informed that she has completed only 80% means the race is total of 100% means she has covered only 80% of race full stop how many kilometers was the runner supposed to run in this event at the head so let me check here so 12 kilometers and the crossing of 12 km mark she was complete she was informed to that she has completed only 80% means friends first we know the length of the race okay so we'll take it here let the length of race here so let the length of race be x kilometers right friends now 80% they have given means so we have to write down here 80% means here it is 80% of x equal to 12 right friends then we should complete the race of 100% means so i have to 80% they have again means for example here we have to taking as 80 I- divided by 100 into x equal to 12 right friends when it is reversed okay i am converting into x equal to 12 into 100 divided by 80 right friends so it is an exact of can- calculations Okay, so 120 by divided by 80 means that is a x equal to 15 kilometers. Then option number B is a right answer. Okay, friends, it's a nothing. There's a basic calculation is there. So you get to know that. Okay, how to apply this type of questions and how to solve means. Okay, let me we go for the next question now. Okay, Rakesh and Rajesh together bought 10 balls and 10 rackets. Rakesh spent Rs. 1300 and the Rajesh spent Rs. 1500. Each, if each racket cost 3 times of ball, just friends you have to highlight this one, the rupees of 1300 then as well as a, here it is 1500. Then the balls are 10 balls, then here it is 10 rackets. Okay, one ball cost. We are first. We will get to know that what is the cost of one ball. Then we will find out the racket cost. The, the racket cost is a three times of the one ball cost. Okay, three times of the ball cost means we get to know here. First, we will take it here. For example, we will find out the first uh, the cost of a ball here. Cost of ball rupees x. Then cost of racket of rupees 
3 x why I am taking 3 x is here 3 times of a ball they are told means so that is a 3 x then here it is that is an a here it is rupees x and the 3 time of x on the HDV. So, okay. Let me see here. I will rub it this one. Okay. Right. Now, I will come to the problem directly here. 10 x plus 10 okay, into here it comes 3 x is equal to 1300, 1300 rupees plus 1500. Okay. 10 x 10 into 3 that is 30 okay is equal to 2800 okay here comes the 40x means 2800 divided by 40 okay here comes the 0 0 is cancelled then 4 and 4 7 ja. so now the x value of is 70 okay do not think that the answer is a 70 friends why because in the options they are given already 70 here okay if we think that is a 70 if you mark means you will get the penalty of marks okay why because we are finding the so this one is a not a racket cost this is the cost of a ball one ball they have said the racket price is three times of a ball cost means 70 into 3 so answer is 210 so option number c c is the right answer friends okay fine let me go for the next question now Okay, we will solve the next one. Right, friends. So, <coughs> in the conference, out of the total 100 participants, comma, 70 are Indians. If 60 of the total participants are vegetarian, then which of the following statement is are correct? On the so, here it is at least 30 Indians participants are vegetarian in the case 1 in the case 2 at least 10 indian participants are non vegetarians okay friends so i'll move for the next page now okay i do have a question here by reading the question i'll solve the problem here see in the conference out of the total 100 participants 70 are indians if a 60 of the total participants are vegetarian then which of the following statement is are correct okay at least 30 Indian participants are vegetarian. Okay, there is a case one here. First, we will get to know that uh, total number of participants is 100. In that, uh, Indians 70. Then, as well as the uh, total vegetarian are 60. Right, friends. Then we will go through the case one here. Okay, what they said in the case one. At least 30 Indian participants are vegetarians, right, friends? So, 30 Indian participants are vegetarian means uh, out of 100 participants, uh, 70 are Ind Indians, right? So, 70 are Indians means uh, we will take as 100 minus 70, remaining are 30. 30 are non Indians. They do not think they are non vegetarians. So they, these are non Indians. Why? Because the total members are 100. In the Indians are 70, the total vegetarians are the 60, means uh, 70, the remaining 30 are the non Indians. Means here it is a 60 percent vegetarian, means uh, here is 60 minus uh, 30 non Indians, means remaining are uh, 30 percent are vegetarians, Indians are vegetarians, right. So, that is a first case here, okay. 30 percent vegetarians are Indians. Come to the case number 2 here, friends. I will come to the case number 2. Out of 100 participants, 60 are vegetarian. Okay, let me see here. Case two. Out of 100 participants, 60 are vegetarians. Okay, so 100 minus 60, that is in you know, 40, right? 40 percent left here. Means 30 are non-Indians non at the now, right? So in case here, 30 are non-Indians at the right? Then 40 minus 30 non-Indians friends means uh, remaining Indians are left here 10 percent okay the case 2 is telling that at least 10 Indian participants are non vegetarians okay so this is a 10 Indians non vegetarians right friends so the question here it is 
at least 30 percent Indian participants are vegetarians that is true and uh, at least 10 Indian participants are non vegetarians. So, that is also correct right. So, both answer 1 and 2 both are correct here then option number C right friends ok. We will move for the next question now ok. A uh, 5 store building with the floors of 1 to 5 is painted using 4 different colors and only one color is used to paint a floor ok. There are 5 floors friends ok. Then the color of paints are only 4 right. Then 5 floors are there on the other on the other floor yes same paint and akta kanta do in the three floors in marbon and thunder different different colors and I will paint marta kanta than theater. Let me see here considering the following the statements. We will check the statements here. The middle three floors are painted in the different colors ok. Middle three floors are colors in the different colors. For example here I write it down here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for example 5 floors right ok. 5 store building with a just I have written just for an example ok. As per the uh, problematic if you write means we will take systematically the floor number 1 is come here then this 2, 3, 4 then 5 like this ok. To get to know that the middle 3 floors painted in the different colors middle 3 means this 3 ok painted in the different colors in any kind of different colors sir. they have not mentioned the particular particular the colors here ok any kind of colors then that is ok then second one is <coughs> the second and the fourth floors are painted in the different colors second and fourth color is painted with the different colors yes these are different colors and different colors and this is also in the different color ok. Let me see the last point here that is third one the first and the fifth floors are painted red means the first floor and the fifth floor painted uh, the same color that is a uh, red color right friends. So, 1 different different colors 2, 3 and this one is a different color ok total 4 colors. To ensure that any two consecutive floors have different colors ok friends. So, now we are seeing the options here right yes only statement 2 is sufficient to answer ok only statement 2 that the statement 2 is uh, the second and the fourth floors are painted with a different colors and third no we cannot uh, say which colors are which particular things and third then the only statement 3 is sufficient only th statement 3 is sufficient statement 3 is uh, the first and the fifth floors are painted red yes the first and the fifth floor painted uh, red and third in this that is a single color out of 4 right statement 1 is not sufficient but the statement 1 along with the statement 2 is sufficient no then statement 3 is not sufficient, but the statement 3 along with the statement 2 is sufficient. We cannot say why because 4 colors are there, then 5 floors, the 2 floors the same colors and remaining 3 floors are different colors ok. In different colors we do not know which floor is in which color, only they have mentioned the red color for 1 and 5th floor. So, the answer is only statement 3 is sufficient to answer ok. Yes friends, we will move for the next question now. Fine. So, the question number 7 is P, Q and R are the 3 towns the distance between P and Q is 60 kilometer whereas the distance between P and R is 80 kilometers full stop. Q is in the west of P, Q is in the west of P that is 60 kilometers and R is in the south of P, R is in the south of P, R is in the south of P that is 80 kilometers before only they have mentioned here P is 60 kilometer sorry P and Q is 60 kilometer R 80 kilometers right P and Q ok 80 kilometers. So, what is the now question is what is the distance between Q and R ok now we are finding this Q and R distance. We know that the distance of Q and P is 60 P and R is 80 now we are going to find out the Q and R for example, this is a we have to apply the Pythagoras formula here right. So, Q P square plus P R square ok 60 square plus 80 square then square root of here it is 3600 plus 6400 then it is 10000 the square root of 10000 is a 
100 right so your answer is 100 kilometers option number d friends okay right we'll move for the next question now <coughs> all members of the club went to mumbai and stay in the hotel on the first day 80% went for the shopping and 50% went for sightseeing whereas 10% took rest in the hotel which of the following conclusions can be drawn from the above data from the above data okay so here it is first one here the conclusion number one they have given here first find out the I'm sorry uh, you have to see the question here which of the following conclusion can be drawn okay from the above data okay let us see here that is question number eight okay question number eight here it is first one 40 percent members went for shopping as well as a sightseeing okay so we have to get to know that this is correct or wrong okay we'll have to check this one 40 percent why because then 20 percent members in the second conclusion 20 20 members 20 percent of members went for only shopping okay given 80 percent on the first day 80 percent went for shopping and the 50 percent went for sightseeing whereas 10 percent took rest in the hotel okay. let me see by drawing a venn diagram here okay right so here comes shopping right 80 percent then here sightseeing that is a 50 percent right friends then they are telling that uh, first conclusion then 10 percent are taking the rest okay fine so we have to mention this 80 and 50 okay for example 80 plus 50 is 130 okay the mentioning here what they have said 40 percent members went for shopping as well as a uh, sightseeing for example we will take like this 40 then 40 then it is 10 okay okay fine so first we get to know that total number of uh, members that is 100 members are there right then here it is members who take the rest that is 10 percent means the minus 90 right friends okay so when we take the 30 130 80 plus 50 that is 130 minus 90 that is remaining is a 40 okay let me check here first one conclusion 40 members went for shopping as well as sightseeing see this 40 40 members went for shopping it comes in shopping also and also in the sightseeing okay so first one is a true case second one 20 percent members went for only shopping we can't get that one only 20 percent only that is a wrong one so answer we'll come back and see the question here yes only one is a true okay yes we'll move for the next question now right then question number nine in a school 60 percent students play cricket and uh, cricket will stop a student who does not play cricket plays football right 60 percent students play cricket here then a student who does not play cricket plays football every football player has got a two wheeler right every football player has got a two wheeler which of the following conclusions cannot be drawn from the above data so please mention this one cannot be drawn okay they didn't ask uh, be drawn conclusion can be drawn cannot be drawn they are saying like it means first we'll check the options here the first option is 60 percent of the students do not have two wheelers we can't say friends why because they are not given the proper information 60 percent of students play cricket that's it only they didn't tell about the two wheelers okay they only said the two wheelers about the football players so the it cannot be drawn this one first option no cricketers have two wheelers no they didn't mention that one also right 60 percent of students play cricket that the students who does not play cricket they play football that's the right here right but the cricket no cricketer has two wheeler that is also we can't judge that one that is also cannot be drawn here cricket players do not play football okay 
it might be or those who are interested they can be play or else no okay this is also cannot be drawn in this particular thing so the option is select the correct answer using the code of given below so that is a option number d 1 2 and 3 cannot be drawn from the about data right friends that is option number 4 is the right answer so let me check here it's a very interesting question 10th question here Anna was born four years after her parents marriage her mother is three years three years younger than her father and 24 years older than Anna okay who is 13 year old okay who is 13 year old this Anna is a 13 year old now that at what age did Anna's father get married right friends so we are finding here the age of uh, Anna's father when the, he got married right so let me see after the after four years of marriage then her parents her mother sorry uh, Anna was born yes friends Anna was born four years after her parents and parents marriage and here it is 24 minus 4 okay why because I have taken 24 years? see here right and 24 year older than Anna Okay, 24 years then older than Anna means uh, now it is 24 means uh, 4 years, uh, right? Now we will be 4 and 24 minus 4 and that is uh, 20 years. When her mother get married, then the age of her mother is 20 years, right? Then they said her mother is 3 years, 3 years younger than her father, right? 3 years younger than her father, then Anna who is 13 year old at what age did Anna's father get married now her mother is 20 three years younger means uh, her father means 20 plus 3 that is uh, her father's age is 23 years her mother's age is uh, 20 what is her father's age and means get married at uh, father's get married means that is 23 years of age okay father marriage right friends so option number b is a uh, right answer let me go for the next question now. Yes. The average marks of 100 students are given to be 40. It was found later than marks of the one of the students were 53, which were misreaded as 83. The corrected mean, right? The corrected mean marks, mean marks are, okay? The, then that is a question number 11, friends. Yes. Total number of students, that is, total number of students is, 100 are given to be 40 means that is a 4000 right then it was found later that marks of the one student were 53 where which were misread as 83 so we last misread means 83 minus plus it is a correct 53 okay so 4000 minus 83 plus 53 so we are getting as a 3970 Okay, so exact of 3970, then how many students here? 100 students divided by 100. So the cancellation, right? Here it is 39.7. The exact answer is B. 39.7 is a right answer. Okay, friends, let me go for the next question now. If every alternative letter of the English alphabet from B onwards, including B, they say, B onwards, then including B is written in the lower case, small letters and the remaining letters are capitalized. Then how is the first month of the second half of the year? First month of the second half of the year means uh, from January to June. It's a first half, second half, July to December. So second half, the uh, July to December, second half of the first month means, uh, see the first month of the second half, that is July. But it should be in the particular what the order they had said. So let me check here. Okay, they have given English alphabets alphabetical on B onwards, including B. So here it is A, right? That is B. Then C capital, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. R, S, T, U, V, W, 
x, y, z. Okay. Now one capital letter, then one small letter. As per the condition they have told here. Let me check the here. Then how is the first month of the second half of the year written? So July is the first month of the second half. That is J in the small letter. July, right? J U is in the capital letter. Then L in the small letter. Then Y is in the capital. Check the options here. First J is a small. J U capital small no. J U no. Yes, the last option is small j is a small letter, second u is a capital letter, then i, sorry, l is a small letter, then y is a capital letter. Okay. The option number d is a right option. Right, friends? So, this type of we have to solve in the examination. At, we have to write this one. They have not given this there okay, in the particular in your exam sheet, uh, means in your question paper. Okay. We have to note down and we have to find out. Right, friends? Let me go for the next question now. In the sequence 157357435, how many such phi's are there? Now they are asking about the phi's. We will mark the phi here 1 as well as 2, 3. Are there which are not immediately preceded by 3? For example, phi 3 immediately preceded by 3 means behind immediately. 3 irbar don't the health other friends. Then, but are immediately followed by 7. Immediately followed by Mungade 7. Okay, preceded by then followed by and is a 7. 3 bar to 3 bit very other number early and let me check here. Okay, 5, 1, 5, 7. Yes, it's a one group. Here it is 5, 3. Immediate preceded by 3 bar than 7 is there, but 3 rather than the barrella again. So only one pair that is answer 1. Right, friends? Okay, let me see the next question now. A joint family consists of seven members A, B, C, D, E, F, and G with the three females. G is a widow and a sister of uh, D's father. F, B, and D are the siblings, and A is the daughter of B. C is a cousin of B. Right? Then now they have given some of the questions here. Who is E? The, we have to find out who is E. Wife of F, aunt of C, grandmother of A. Which option will be a right option? So I will draw the diagram here. Yes. Here it is. I do have the question. Okay, see, so I'll read the question here, friends. A joint family consists of seven members A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. G is a widow and the sister in law of D's father F. G is a sister in law of D's father F. Right? It's a widow. Okay. Next, B and D are D father we don't know the gender of d plus or minus it may be son or maybe daughter b and d are siblings siblings so plus or minus brothers brothers or sisters sisters brother or sister sister or brother like that we don't know the proper gender here they didn't mention their siblings and a is the daughter of b a is a daughter means they have given a female their daughter means uh, three daughters, uh, sorry, three females are there. We got G is a one, uh, one female, then A is a one more female. We have to find out one more female here. C is a cousin of B. C is a cousin, okay, plus or minus. Then one candidate left here. Who is a E? They are asking who means, uh, already he, 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 here it is the father. F is a father of D means, uh, then E is a mother. Both are husband and wife. Okay, three females that is G, E, A, three females. Okay. So let me check the question here. First one, who is E? Wife of F. E is a wife of F. That is the right one. Second one, let me see here. Wife of F. Okay, wife of F. Then second one, grandmother of A. Grandmother of A. Yes, E is a grandmother of A. Why? Because D and B are the kids of F and E. So, A is the daughter of B. So, that is also right. Then, aunt of C, then aunt of C means, uh, right, C is a cousin of B means, uh, D and B are the kids of uh, F and E. Then, C cousin means, uh, E is uh, aunt of C. Okay. Then, three options are correct here. Let me check the question in the options. Select the Select the correct answer using the code given below. That is 1, 2 and 3. 
Yes, option number D is the correct answer. Fine, friends. We'll move for the next question now. Yes, it's a uh, mathematical operation question here. So, 10 ash means minus 5, at means multiplication 1, dollar means divided by 5. We have to apply the board mass rule here. First uh, bracket is there is no bracket means we go to the off that is multiply. There is no off means we start with the division, then multiplication, then addition, then subtraction. There is no addition here. So, they are given like this. We have to convert into 10 minus 5 into 1 divided by 5. So, 5 and ja, 5 and ja. 1 into 1 that is 1. So, 10 minus 1 it is 9. The option is D. Right friends? Okay. We will move for the next question. For the following three questions, read the following information and answer the three questions that follow. Six students A, B, C, D, E, F appeared in the several test. Okay. Full of either C nor F scores, right, friends? So remaining uh, up to we solved here in the last question, that is 15th. Okay. So remaining uh, will be continued in the part two, right? So remaining questions will be continued, right? Thank you, friends. Navin Kumar, I'm a classic faculty. Sorry. Good morning, friends. My name is Navin Kumar. I'm a faculty of classic case and I study circle Dharwad. So, friends, yesterday we are discussing about the CSAT paper. It is a paper 2 of 2019 paper. So, that is a part of your revision of upcoming to your examination on the 10th October. Right, friends? So, yesterday we discussed up to 15th question. Right. So, we will continue the remaining questions here. So, let me see here they are given the one question here that is a related to the puzzle test. Right, friends? So, from in this puzzle test, they have asked uh, three questions. Here it is 16 to 18. I given the number here. For the following three questions, read the following information and answer the three questions that follow. Let me start the question here. Six students A, B, C, D, E, and F appeared in a several tests. Either C or F scores the highest. Whenever C scores the highest, comma B scores the least. In all the tests, they got different marks. Then full stop, the D scores the highest than A, but they are close competitors. A scores higher than B, comma, then C scores uh, higher than A. How to solve these type of problems in the examination, right friends? First, we get to know once you solving the puzzle test, you should read the question once. Why? Because the first, they will not, will not get the hint here, means how to take the problem, means how to start the problem, okay? Then they have given here directly the alphabets here. If they given the floors means first we have to write down the floors from the bottom to top like that. When they given person or any alphabetical order means we have to like a serial order from top to bottom here. Okay. We will move for the next page here friends. <coughs> right. I will solve it here. Here is the question here. Okay, six students A, B, C, D, E, and F appeared in the several tests. Either C or F scores highest. Right? C nor F. Here is the given either. Either in the sense of it might be a C or F. We'll take a C, F. In another case, we'll take F or C. We'll check in the both options. Whenever C scores the highest, then the E scores the least. For example, there are six members here. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, friends? The E, uh, sorry. Uh, whenever <coughs> C scores the highest, then E scores the least. C scores the highest, E scores the least. Right, friends? Okay. Whenever F scores the highest, B scores the least in the second case here. Okay, this is a possibility here. Whenever F scores highest, the B scores the least. Okay. But we do not know the exact value of C. Okay. Why? Because either they are told C might be come in the third place or fourth place or whatever may be place. Right? But the topmost is a F is in second case. Okay. Next here, in all the tests they got different marks. D scores higher than A. D scores higher than A. But they are close competitors. A scores higher than B. A scores higher than B. Comma, C scores higher than A, C scores higher than A in this case. Here it is, D scores higher than A, the one candidate left here, 
e but we don't know the exact value here okay that is a exact value c or this one e okay the e might come second place then c might come in the third place also we don't know the exact so we are taking here or either places also let me check the first question here if f stands second place in the ranking then the position of b is okay here it is the f is in first place so it will not come we'll check in the first diagram f place in the second stand what is the position of b the position of b is a fifth place so answer is option number c right friends okay we'll check the next question now right if b scores the least the rank of c will be if the b scores the least the rank of c the b score least means uh, it will come in the second case b is the least here then what is the position of uh, c anth heltidre friends c anth andagili second place agirbodu or else i told here third place generally out kuda no agirbodu we don't know the exact value of uh, c so answer option is second or third right friends okay next uh, we'll move for sorry here is also one more question is there if e is if e is ranked third then which of the one sorry which one of the following is correct if e ranked third then which one of the following is correct they have given the question mark here so we'll check the first option here e gets more marks than c let us see here e gets uh, more marks than c no that is wrong e gets more marks than c no that is also wrong here second option c gets more marks than e c gets uh, c gets more marks than e right second option we'll check it here c gets more marks than e right then c gets uh, more marks than e right here comes option number 2 if we take and see in the second place then e is the third place that is a uh, option number 2 is a uh, right on a is ranked fourth here comes a is ranked fourth let us see here 1 2 3 4 but in the case of the another one here it is see 1 2 3 4 5 1 is in the fifth place 1 is in the fourth place we can't judge properly the exact value of uh, that places right then last option d is ranked fifth see here d ranked fifth here it is d is uh, in the third d is in the fourth right friends so <coughs> option is b okay so in the 16th question i told you right in the fifth place then in the 17th one d option second or third right in the 18th question c gets uh, more ranks than e okay friends so these are the three questions and answers we'll move for the next question now right friends here the question asked 19 and 20 for the following two questions read the following statements statement 1 and statement 1 and statement 2 and answer the two questions that follows means in the statement 1 in the statement 1 2 so which one is correct we have to tell exactly okay friends let us see here in the statement 1 twice the weight of sohan is less than the weight of mohan or then rohan right for example twice i i'll repeat the one's question here twice the weight of sohan is less than the weight of mohan means sohan is less than mohan then the weight of mohan or then or that of rohan again they had less than rohan okay in the first case both side sohan is less than mohan then sohan is less than rohan okay in the second case statement twice the weight of rohan is greater than the weight of mohan rohan is greater than mohan or that of sohan again rohan is greater than mohan okay friends let we'll check the options here options in the sense of they will give the question for this particular statements okay <clears throat> now we'll see which of the following statement is correct they are asking which of the following statement is a correct statement okay friends so let me see here
So, which one is a correct one? First one, weight of Mohan is greatest. Weight of Mohan is greatest. We can't say, right? Weight of Sohan is the greatest. Weight of Sohan is the greatest. That is also we can't say. Then, weight of Rohan is the greatest. Weight of uh, Rohan is the greatest. Okay. That is also we didn't, they didn't mention in the statement. The particular, the greatest person is a Rohan or else Mohan. The least weight person is that is Sohan. They didn't mention in the particular. Means we are not getting the exact value weight of these three people. Okay. Let me see. Means about Sohan, they told that he is less than these two people. Okay. Means we got that he is a very less weight. But Mohan and Rohan, we have a not exact value of these two weights. Okay. It might be Mohan, it might be a Rohan. Greater means. Okay, greatest weight. Those weight is greatest, cannot be determined. So, we go through the option number D. D is the exact right answer here. Right friends. Let me check one more question here. 28th question. Which of the following statement is correct? Again in this statement, which one is the right one they are asking here? Let us see here. Okay. First option, weight of Mohan is the least. No, we can't say. Right. Second one, <coughs> weight of Sohan is the least. Yes. Weight of Sohan is a least means, uh, see friends, Sohan is a less than Mohan, Sohan is less than Rohan. Both cases are Sohan in the least in the least means uh, he is the weight of least person. So, second option is right here. Third option, we will check it here. Weight of Rohan is the least. We can't say. Weight of Sorry, those weight is the least cannot be determined. No, we can't say that. That is answer is Sohan is only the least person. Okay, friends. So, answer is option number 2. Right. Next one now. 29. Which of the following statement is a what is the x in the sequence of, right? Friends, this is a number series, okay. The two type of number series already we discussed in the class, right. That is a part one, find the missing number and the one is a find the wrong one. Let us see, they have given the missing here, missing the x value means so what is the next missing number we have to find out here. Next missing one, right. First, we'll, whenever we do the number series, first we have to do the check the number difference, okay friends. We'll check the number difference here, 32 to 130, 132 to 130. Sorry, 129. So that is a minus 3. Then 129 to 124. That is a minus 5. Here comes minus 7. Then obviously when we're doing like this, no, we'll think that minus 3, minus 5. It is an odd series. Then we move for the continuously. Minus 3, minus 5, minus 7. Then minus 9, minus 11, minus 13. No, friends. Here when you check the difference, though, it is a minus 11 not 9. Why? Because their difference is in the prime numbers. Okay. So, it next should be minus 13. The next difference should be minus 17. So, 93 minus 17, the exact answer is x value is a 76. Right friends? So, 76 is a right answer. It is in the difference of prime numbers. Okay friends? Okay. We will move for the next question now. Fine. Same one more question is there. What is the x in the sequence? See friends, they are given 4, 196, 16, 144, 36, 164. Then what is the value of x here? Then if we match here first and second, checking the difference, if it is not matching properly, I mean so the, the difference is uh, uh, very less or very more, okay, not in the proper way, then we have to check in the first order and uh, third order, okay. Then second order or fourth order, like that. So first it is a uh, 2 square. 4 it is 2 square then I am checking in the third that is a 4 square it is 6 square then here comes 8 square okay the difference of these people means these numbers that is a 2 2 2 here okay then 196 that is a 14 square again we will come to here 12 square then 10 square again the difference minus 2, minus 2, then 10 minus 2 means that is a 8 square, 
right so answer is a option number b already 64 is there again 64 okay why because i told you how to check this one okay they given 4 196 16 144 36 164 then again it's 8 square is a 64 option number b is a right answer friends okay fine so we'll move for the next question now In a group of 15 people, 7 can read French, 8 can read English, while 3 of them can read uh, neither of these two languages, right? So, in the 15, 7, then 8 can read the English, while 3 of them can read uh, neither of these two languages, means uh, then the number of people who can read exactly one language is exactly one language. When these type of questions will be given, no friends, then you have to draw a particular, right, diagrams, that is we called as a Venn diagrams. For example, here. Let me check it here. Right. So here it is. We'll take the proper French uh, so, so, means proper value of these uh, languages of French and uh, English. Okay. So this is uh, we'll take as a French, and this one is a uh, English. Right, friends. So a group of fifteen people, seven can read French, eight can uh, read English, while three can three of them can read neither of these two languages the number of people who can exactly read only one language like that this for example we have to write like this 4 3 5 right then here it is 3 okay let me check the here let me check the question here friends in a group of 15 people 7 can read french okay 7 can read french means see here 4 plus 3 okay 7 can read French, 8 can read English, 5 plus 3, 8 can read English, right friends, then while 3 of them can read neither of these two languages, then here comes 3, apart from that one, right, then the number of people who can read exactly one language is, the one language means uh, French, only 4, okay, 4, then English, only one person, then 4 plus 5, that is 9 then option number b is a right answer friends okay fine we'll move for the next question now okay so consider the following the sequence that follows some arrangements they are given uh, these questions will be coming the particular topic like that is alphabetical series or alphabetical test right friends so let me check here this is not a, that much of tough for anything else, right? They are given one series here, alphabetical series. In this alphabetical series, some of the alphabets are missing. Okay, how we have to find out? There is a groups are there. We have to find out the particular groups. For example, that groups might be three, three or four, four groups. Okay, let me check the question here. First one. Okay, C. Then here is the question mark. Means gap A C C. Then A A again gap A A gap B C gap right. So, B. The letters that appear in the gaps are, they give four options. We can check in also. Four options, we will get answer which is the exact one. Then, first, we, if we check this one, if it is matching with the group of peoples, okay, then it is a correct. If we not matching, go for the next one. And the way. Let me check here. They have given C, for example. Okay, C is there. The sequence will take as a 4-4. Four, four. Right, friends? Not uh, it's a five five friends. Okay, just a minute. Right. So we'll take here. Yes, it's a one group. Group number one. Then, then group number two. Yes, this is a group number three. Okay. Then we have to checking by the options here. Okay. Then any options matches here. For example, okay, I'm checking off all the options. Okay, in examination also, C dash A C C. For example, if I take option number B here, or option number A, or option number C, or option number D. For example, here C C A C C. See the following of letters here. C C A C C. Right. 
So, here it is option number B, then A A B A A, right friends, right, A A B A A, again here we are taking as a B B, B B C B B, okay friends, see there is a one particular thing here, here they are given A, see here C C A C C, A A B A A, then B B C B B, then particular here it is uh, the gap places C B B B, right friends. So, nothing is uh, tough here, just we have to checking in the options and which option is suitable for this one particularly, matches the group, okay. It might be 3, 4 or else uh, 5. So, option number exact is, option number C is a uh, right answer. So, that is a uh, C B B B, right friends. Okay, we will move for the next question now. Right, it is an interesting question that is asked by the in the direction test question here. Okay, uh, let me read the question here. A starts from his house and walks 20 meter towards east where his friend B joined him. They together walk 10 meters in the same directions. Full stop. Then A turned left while B turned right and traveled 2 kilometer and 8 kilometer respectively. Full stop. Again, B turned left to travel 4 meters followed by 5 meters to his right to reach his office. Full stop. A turned right and traveled 12 kilometers, sorry, 12 meters to reach his office. Full stop. What is the shortest distance between the two offices? Okay, friends. So, we have to draw the diagram, particular diagram. On the basis of the diagram, we get to know the, what is the exact answer. The question is, what is the shortest distance between the two offices they are asking, right friends. So, let me check here the, okay, we draw the diagram here, right, already I do have a question here, I will solve in the next page, okay, right friends, let me see here, okay, I will read the question and I will solve it. A starts from his house and walks 20 meters towards east, okay. Twenty meters to east. Twenty meters to his. Where his friend B joined him, they both joined him. Together walked ten kilometers. Together means A, A is here, here friends. So we'll take A plus B again from here. They have walked ten meters. So total is a thirty in the same direction. Walk ten meters in the same direction. Full stop. Then A turn left, then B turn right. So here it is A, then we will take his B. A turn left and walk 2 kilometers, then B turn right and walk 8 meters. Sorry, I am telling uh, some by mistake, kilometers, it is a meters. Respectively, respectively, yes, they are given respectively 2 and 8 meters. Full stop again, B turn left and travel 4 meters left and 4 followed by 5 meter to his right and reach his office 5 meter which is office right friends full stop a turn right and travel 12 meter to reach his office 12 already is 4 is here 4 okay then remaining is 8 total is 12 meters it's a the sorry yes 12 meters now the question is what is the shortest distance between the two offices right here comes the a offices then here comes the b offices right friends let me see the difference of these two offices means we don't know the value of these two offices, the distance between, right friends. So, let me, here it is 2 and 8 here is, means here is also, here it is 10, right friends, 2 and 8 plus, 2 plus 8 means that is a 10 here, then we are checking the value of this one, right, 
ठीक है आई गिव द नेम हियर पी क्यू आर फॉर एग्जाम्पल राइट सो वी गेट टू नो दैट हेयर इट इज हेयर इट इज फोर ओके देन रिमेनिंग हेयर इट इज एट दैट वील शफल दैट वन राइट फोर एट दैट इज अ टॉल एंड थर्टी पी क्यू इज एट देन हेयर इट इज देन टेन प्लस फाइव दैट इज अ फिफ्टीन एंड थर्टी थ्री फ्रेंड्स सो लेट मी चेक हेयर विल अप्लाय वी नो पी क्यू एट मीटर्स देन पी आर ओके वी डोंट नो द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू आर 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 क्यू राइट सो लेट मी चेक हेयर इन द पाइथागोरस पी क्यू स्क्वेर प्लस पी आर स्क्वेर राइट फ्रेंड्स पी क्यू इज एट स्क्वेर प्लस हेयर इज टेन प्लस फाइव 15 square, right? 64 plus 225. The square root of so exact value of these two people. Okay, that means these two numbers. That is 289. The square root of 289 is a 17 meters. The exact answer is a 17 meters here. Right. But uh, many students, how they do means uh, what is the distance between this starting point? For example, the terminal point or this office or uh, from A office to office B, they ask means uh, they will calculate like this. There is a tall is there. Then here it is the four means the remaining is a uh, eight is there like this. They will calculate and they will tell any kind of answeration that uh, the answer is twenty. Uh, not calculating by the Pythagoras theorem, right, friends? So these are the questions in the 2019 CSAT. Okay, which we solved here for you, useful for your examination for upcoming on tenth examination, friends. Okay, these type questions will may be asked in your examination in upcoming ex examination on tenth paper on October tenth. So one more thing here, there are three section, friends. First class I have given the introduction. This is the part two, right? So three sections that is a uh, reasoning, quants, and English comprehension, right? Okay, if you are very good in English or any other subject means. Quants, okay. Just or any in other subject. Just first we have to do one thing. That is, uh, you have to first calc means uh, in attending the questions in the examination. You have to take the 33 percent. That that is passing marks. Okay. Apart from this, means when you got 66 exact marks, then move for the next questions. Okay. Don't sit uh, up. Already I 66 is a correct. If it is wrong, means uh, there is a one third is a wrong penalty. Of marks, right, friends? And these marks will not be counted in the GS one paper. You get to know that, okay? Those who are writing the first time, it is only for eligibility paper. And second thing, okay, you are doing reasoning or quantitative or quantitative or English or English or reasoning, whatever it may be, right? Evers, first options, whichever you want to solve, you can solve that one. And don't spend more time, okay? Which question is not coming in your examination, right? You skip that question first. You you solve the questions which you are knowing the first one. Okay, first you get the passing marks, right, friends? Then we'll move for the further questions if it is the time remaining. Already I told you, you know, 80 questions, 200 marks per question carries 2.5 marks, right, friends? The penalty is already I told one third. Okay, so we use the strategy and we have to write. Many people what will do when those who are writing the first time already they first start with English. Comprehension, the okay passages, the lot of time wasted in reading the comprehension, right? I'm not saying they don't attend the English, okay? I'm saying that uh, in the calculation part, which you are perfect, chapters are there. If we can score more, okay, go through that one. Then English also, right? Okay. Then particularly, you'll be a clear of this paper, CSAT paper. Why? Why? Because this is eligibility paper. Any of friends? So in the next class, I'm going to solve, right? 2020 paper okay so in that uh, we'll uh, discuss about the 2020 csat paper it will be a revision right friends so today's that's it thank you very much